Welcome to Wild Bill's Garage, my friends. I thought it was over, but it didn't end. Now I'm out of the tractor filming with the drone. I think Wild Bill's Garage will call this home. Okay, welcome to Wild Bill's Garage. Since we've had to retire from the motorcycles, we've been moving on to different things. E-bikes, tractors, just, just living. We're very lucky. Very lucky that we busted our asses for 30 years and we just bought this thing. It's a forest, Salem Forest River, by Forest River. Uh, it's a T trailer, 32 feet, bunkhouse, double slide. Took me a while to figure that out. Yukon resident annual campground permit, 2019. So, it's used, it's a 20... 17. He's trying to buy stuff right now. You know, it's uh, mid-June in the Yukon. And as you all know, this COVID has caused so many shortages. Got a nice little bike rack on the back. They're, it's not their top of the line RV. But, um, and we put, we got multiple thousands in it, but it's paid for. And it's got a little bit of uh, damage here and there. But not, I don't know if I call it damage. Just a little, things need to be. These need to be lubed. I have lots of maintenance I need to do on it. I don't mind the metal on wood. I, I, our last one we had 30 years ago. See, the last owner had a little trouble backing things up. But hey, you gotta, you gotta learn it. It's usually the hard way. Okay, so everything looks pretty cool. Um, we got the two 30 pound tanks, one battery. Apparently, the guy we bought it from, we'll call him Big J says you can't run parallel. It, it screws up the electronics. The older ones you can. Got a propane line that comes back out by the... There's a kitchenette in here. Which is a lightly... Has a light... Needs a little bit of work. Because this is where the another place the owner scraped. And actually uh, a bent things. So this can be a little bit uh, finicky to open and close. And it needs new... Hydraulics. But you got your little fridge. I got a little power from now. And you can run, I guess they run the barbecue back to here. Um, right there. You can run your barbecue to there. One of these I noticed is a little bit loose up front. And this uh, spin thing is a little crooked. One of them is a little bit bent. They might have bumped something. But all in all, uh, brakes are good. Everything's solid. So, this is what we'll be doing here. Let's, uh, let's go inside. This is what we'll be doing next. Okay, so we're inside. Don't want to leave those up. I remember that from the old motorhome. You don't want water on there. So it's pretty good shape. I don't know what... There's little things. This little thing here needs to be re-screwed on. Um, we got all kinds of... Oh, I see. I don't, I don't know this thing from a hole in the ground. Put bodies in there. Some place to put our shotgun when we travel because we won't be going anywhere without the 12 gauge because that's just the way we like to do things stove fridge fr now check this out <laughs> yeah i don't really drink anymore but i'll tell you what i'm going to be having some of that they left that in there for us very nice people got the microwave all the amenities we did all the checks that we could think of to then there are, and this is kind of neat you can get out when somebody has a, uh, you know, uh, big stinky dump. Is that a good way to put it? <laughs> oh, I don't got my teeth in. Yeah, my teeth are out. I don't put them in all the time. I don't really care what people think. Now that. Nope, that's solid. You're always checking the floor and things. This is actually pretty good. But this room probably has been a little bit damp because it's a shower. Tons of storage. We got to get to know everything here because we don't. I don't even know what that is. We don't. I don't know anything about it. We just, you know, we liked it and we bought it. This is gonna stay. There's a. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's for a TV or something. I don't know what. And the little uh, bunk bed you can put up there. That's gonna stay. Um, another TV there. This is gonna come out. Because 
what we'll be doing, my wife works from home, so we can shut her in here and she'll basically have this area, this all folds up. We're probably gonna take that right out though. And she'll be able to wheel around and have her office in here. And this is where she's gonna work. And if we do have company, extra company, we can bunk them up here. Oh, we're not completely level. We can, uh, of course, this goes into a bed and everything too. Um, we can, boy, you can, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing, I can tell right now. But my job will be to work on all the little tiny things. I want to lube everything first off. Everything's got to be completely lubed so that it rolls in and out and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's it. And this is the three beam laser laser. Oh, that's your CDs and things. Or is that where you do the bacon? Nope, that's a CD. You'll have to figure something out for the bacon. Oh, it's running on the battery. No, we're not going to worry about that. What did I do? Can I turn it off? Anyways, there's the TV there. I can't, what is that? I can't get it to turn off. Oh. Takes a minute to turn off. i got to figure all this out. we got some hooks there. So it's a tight little bedroom. But we had it on, I got it on the F350 right now. These all sliding doors. You can shut yourself in here with a little privacy. Um... That didn't turn off. What do I got to do there? Off. Okay, good. It talks to you. Not talks to you, but displays. Speakers everywhere here. Speakers on the outside. Still running on that little battery, but we're not going to be doing any of that. We're going to hook up all the power and everything. Because we want to go to Farrell and Dawson. And eventually this COVID opens up, which is pretty good in the Yukon. You can see it's... They don't make them like they used to. They're, they're tinny. They're tinny. But you know what? Unless I'm going to go, you know, 80,000. We got this thing for a bit over 30. Um, you, you're going to have... It's used. But really, I'm very impressed. Everything's... Everything's... Just little things. Little, little, little things. And I'm going to work on those. Never had slide outs before. Oh, it does have this... Um, I'm getting off tangent again. Which is what I like to do. This is heated storage in here. Which is pretty crazy. So we'll put it doesn't have much storage really. It really doesn't. Uh, you got all your cupboards inside, but that's why we went with this instead of the uh, fifth wheel. Because we're gonna put a good canopy on the back of the old girl. Now this is the stock moto master, class four, class five dash five. I don't know what that means, but it does say six thousand pound rating, GVWR, and the tongue weight six hundred pounds. A tongue weight's eight fifty. And that thing weighs 9,000 pounds, uh, 8,000, 8 or 9,000 pounds. I'd have to look at it again. But it's, it grosses at 11,000. So the, and the truck can run more uh, than uh, over 11,000 by a little bit. So that won't be a problem. And we're going to drive that truck till it drops. We've had it for, God, since 2006. It was like eight months old when we bought it. So we've had that thing a long, long time. 2006 with 125,000 kilometers on the six liter diesel. But there's lots of, we've had a few problems, but uh, it's never stopped us on the side of the road. We, I drove from here to Vancouver with a blown turbo, or the turbo starting to blow, didn't know what was going on, and it made it. So when that dies, we'll go to something. God, I got heavy tires on here, but they'll handle the weight. Like in Canada, they don't pull you into the R, into RVs into the scale, but I'm understanding in the States that some places do pull you in, and uh, we would pass everything except for this right here but i just ordered a blue ox um 12 i think it's 1200 pound it'll equalize it anyways I, I i you know when as you know when you buy these things and you start you start uh looking at all the numbers the payload and you're adding them it's hard to remember them all but everything added up the truck will have in fact i put it on and when i put it on it uh, touches on that overload, but doesn't touch that one. In fact, those trailers there, when they're loaded with wood, are much harder to pack. Much, because they're a little front heavy. That one's only got a 16-foot box on a 20-foot trailer. This one, I just, I packed my tractor on it. I like, really? Grandpa bought these trailers, but he doesn't, he's just not a, he's, he's a carpenter, builder. He doesn't know a trailer from a hole in the ground. He's got, we got four of these things. Two of those. Big ones, 20s, 20 footers, and this one, 
this is a beautiful bobcat trailer. Oh, they all got the rack or the the ramps and everything. Uh, but I put my little Kubota ticket to the shop every now and then. It's never had to go into there really other than servicing, which I don't do. So we're we're good to go. Uh, about seven days, the blue ox will be in equalizing hitch, and that'll give us uh, it'll give us all the safety we need. I just you know I'll be probably don't need it, but I'm I'm an old truck driver, and I know when you have to keep looking at the back end of your load because things aren't tied down, you get nervous. Yeah, and I don't want to worry about my load. So and my wife's going to drive quite a bit too. So we'll have the blue ox on there. Uh, with the, the new ball set up. Well, we'll keep that hitch. It's very solid. And boys and girls, I think we're ready to do a little. We're thinking, I'm thinking this would be nice up the dumpster. I'm gonna get that pad for the hot water tank, or I mean for the water tank. So you have, uh, keep your water heated. And in November, maybe we'll go up and do us some caribou hunting. This, Mike, uh, Uncle Michael wants to do the wall tent. No, this is my wall tent. This is my wall tent. I should say our wall tent. Because my wife will come up and run the fort. And uh, we're gonna, we'll go watch the Bobby come up with us, but we've got to keep an eye on these things. They, they do tend to get, things can get stolen. So that's it. I'm gonna move some trailers around. You guys have a great day. This is what's happening while Bill's garage roof. We just, it's crazy. You know, I remember when we lived a long time ago in North Carolina, we were hanging out there in Vegas. We were so broke. We were, uh, we were, we were, you know, living on watered down pancakes and bologna. And uh, she just wrote a certified check for this and didn't even blink. That doesn't mean we're, we're, uh, we're rich. But if you work hard and penny to penny, as the old timers used to say, after 30 years, <laughs> most of your life, for a lot of us, you can have a little bit of rewards. So, let's do some camping in the Yukon, folks. As soon as we get that hitch in, I'm not moving until we get that hitch in, and then we are going, where should we go? Should we go to Dawson City? My metal detector's in in a couple days. I have to learn how to run that. Let's go Dawson City, Faro, I don't know where we're gonna go. Probably Dawson City, that is a great little town. Okay, you guys have a great day. I gotta move these trailers because Grandpa can't see out his window with that one in the way. So I'll put this one over there, that one over here, and then that one's gotta go to the... On and on and on. But you know what? It's okay because it's gonna end one day. But not yet. You guys have a great evening. <sighs> I'm certainly having a nice evening. Look at that. That's hard when you when you get a new toilet. Just it takes a little while to sink in that you actually have it. Got all the automatic levelers. Automatic jack, not like the old days. I guess that's pretty common now. Thing picked itself up and down. It should be fun. It should be fun. Okay, you guys have a great evening. I'm signing off. And gonna move some trailers around. Over and out. <laughs>